Supplementation number three. Room tone, or why do some people record in their clothes closet? You might have noticed some people like Jeff Lewis recording in their clothes closet. Similarly, have you ever noticed your bathroom has really peculiar acoustics? Each room has its own special combinations of echoes, creating what is called room tone. How is the closet's room tone better? Your closet, full of clothes, reduces the echo by absorbing sounds before they echo off hard surfaces like walls, which creates quieter room tone. Some listeners may find reduced reverb in closet recordings unnatural. This may be expressed as, the room is too dead. You can digitally add a small amount of reverb without introducing more noise, although you probably won't need to. So how do I make a different room quieter? You may find that your clothes closet is too small, uncomfortable or otherwise unsuitable as a regular recording studio. You can do a few things to improve the sound quality of the room you want to use. The easiest thing to do is hang blankets in the direction your voice would be traveling when recording and in the corners to baffle echo. You may notice my hand embroidered Deep Space Nine quilt is a frequent backdrop in my videos. It's not just there for show. When I record audio only, I turn to face the quilt, which is in a corner, and put the microphone between me and the quilt. I put my laptop behind me to reduce fan noise as much as possible. What else can I do with room tone? Room tone has some uses, so don't just chop it out first thing. You can sample the room tone for the noise reduction filter, but be careful with that because noise reduction can introduce some weird noise artifacts. You can use room tone to add space between words, sentences, or paragraphs to improve pacing. Audible.com suggests using room tone to cover breaths at the beginning of paragraphs or any other mouth noises which is a polite way of covering everything from burps to smacks to swallowing. When should I record room tone? When you record, always record a few seconds of silence at the beginning and end of your recording. This silence isn't digital silence, but room tone. You'll definitely notice if the room tone drops out to complete silence during an edited recording. And here's an example. You'll especially notice if you're on headphones. Well, I hope this helps you make your room's tone work better for you in the form of higher quality recordings.